Welcome to an introductory video on Lumerical Solutions 2015A release. This video focuses on upgrades to the Eigenmode expansion solver in Mode Solutions. This is part of a series of videos that showcases the new features of 2015A, which will be available in November 2014. The release includes several upgrades to the Eigenmode expansion, or the EME solver in Mode Solutions, and it significantly improves the solver's performance and usability. For more information on the EME solver, as well as relevant applications, please take a look at the video listed on this link. Here is a list of uh, upgrades to the EME solver, and I'll go through each one of them in detail. I'll start by demonstrating the first three features, which includes the ability to introduce arbitrary source fields, MATLAB format support for source import and export from monitor, as well as the ability to add monitors in analysis mode. I also want to mention that the mode solving and overlap calculations portion of the EME engine is now fully multi-threaded, and it should be much faster than the previous version. So let's take a look at this in mode solutions. Here I've set up the EME solver with no structures and with PML boundaries in the transverse directions. This will help me simulate free space propagation. If we open up the edit monitor of the port, here you can see that I've selected user import in my user selection. And this will allow me to import uh, from a mat file with an arbitrary field profile by clicking on the import fields button. And this mat file can come from a separate simulation or an analytical expression. And I can plot this field by right clicking on the port and visualizing the source field. And you can see here that um, this is a Gaussian source that I'll use for my calculation. And once the simulation finishes running, I can propagate the fields, and then I can plot the monitor results. And I can see the Gaussian source propagate in free space. And if I want to, I can always add more monitors in analysis mode. For example, here I can add an x-normal monitor by changing the geometry to x-normal. And I can also save the field results into a .mat file to be used in a separate simulation. So some of the other features for this upgrade include an EME profile monitor smoothing. In the previous version, when you have a continuously varying geometry, like the spot size converter here, even when you use the continuously varying subcell method, the profile monitor will still show a very discontinuous field. In the new version, on the right side here, you'll find that the profiles are much smoother. And you can find this example on the link on the bottom. Another very useful feature is the ability to set different mode solver properties for each cell group. And here I have a very simple photo detector simulation, and I've set up one cell for each of the input waveguide region and the region that includes the germanium portion. The mode properties are very different between the two cell groups, and here it's very useful to be able to set a different number of modes or a different guess effective index for the two regions. And you can do this by selecting Allow Custom Eigenmode Settings which allows you to open a different mode solver window for each cell group. And one of the most useful features for the EME solver is the new error estimation and analysis tool. One of the challenging aspects of using the EME method is that it's not immediately obvious how many modes or cells you need to achieve good results. It often requires doing some convergence testing to determine this. This error diagnostic tool makes this process much easier by exposing the modal expansion coefficients at each location, as well as allowing the user to see the amount of field discontinuity and energy violation error. For more information on how to use this feature, please take a look at the link below. The EME solver can be used for a wide variety of passive components, including waveguides and fiber tapers, brag ratings, couplers, and splitters. For some examples, as well as the relevant project files, please take a look at our knowledge base. And for more information on the EME upgrade, or to download the latest version of our software, please visit our website at www.lumerical.com. To see other relevant videos for the 2015A release, please visit our YouTube channel. We also encourage you to connect with us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Google+, and Twitter.